Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Today we're gonna work with Mystery Tackle Box Panfish Trout Pro. This is a subscription box, if you don't know. It's got panfish and trout stuff in it, which includes crappie and all that good stuff. Now, I got this as a gift to myself for my birthday. Let's check it out. When you commit to this subscription, you'll get an email that will give you a sneak peek into what's in the box. And when I saw the sneak peek, I was a little disappointed, but, and a little surprised, but we went ahead and did it because we were committed. So we might, we might cancel this box. I got another box too, and that'll be another video. So the first thing got me a little disappointed. Now I knew this was coming, but I did not know the color. You will know what baits are coming, but you won't know the color. And they, they don't like, go, oh, this is going to Texas. Maybe we shouldn't send white baits. Now this is an interesting bait here. It's called a, an afterburner. It's by Jinko Fishing. You see that right there? I'm not too upset about the color because I could use it for white bass. Oh, come on. Barely got that open. There's quite a bit in here. Now this, this bait is fished like this. The, you don't fish it with the tail flat. You fish it with, with it like this. We'll see if that works here. The water's kind of dirty, but not real bad. It's a little clear in some places. Let's look at my biggest disappointments in this box. Now, this box comes with two ice fishing lures. Now, I'm in East Texas. I rarely see ice. I, I, even more rare is ice that I can fish. That's more of a, a oh, up north. We're not up north. So these are interesting nonetheless. Maybe someday I will get up north because I really want to get into some ice fishing. Now this is by Hilder Brandt, Hilder Brandt. Foolin' fish since 1899. Never heard of this company. Probably because they make ice fishing stuff. This is called the thingamajig. It, it glows. I see it's a weighted lure. It's meant to fish, meant to be fished vertically. It's got this little uh, little hook on the back. I think that you're meant to spike this hook. Let's check it out. It's a little bigger than a size six Aberdeen. We have stuff to spike this with. We might try fishing this vertically in the current over there where you saw. We might fish it under a float. Got all kinds of uh, options today. And here's that second ice fishing lure. It's called a hyperglide. This is interesting. It's an interesting lure, but I don't see myself being too successful with it. The color's not bad, just like the first one. The only thing going for it is that it has chartreuse on it. Like I said, this water's not too dirty, but it's not too clear. There are some nice clear spots here where we're at. Now, the reason why they call it a hyperglide is because it has wings. That doesn't mean it flies. Let's check it out. When you drop this, because it's meant to be fished vertically through the ice, see these little wings, they open up and they cause it to sink really slow, kind of glide down. Now, as you see, it's got a hook on the back tail and a hook on the front and a treble hook on the bottom you tie right there i don't know if we're even going to risk fishing this here because it looks like a instant snag but if we were up on the lake in the kayak we could fish it we decided not to do that today because it is blowing really hard up there right now got white caps that's why we're back down here out of the wind let's get into some stuff that made me feel positive now again these are white, but what's going for them is the chartreuse tails. These are supposed to be hand ties. They're called warbirds. Got two jigs here. What size are they supposed to be? Do you say? These are 1 16th ounce jig heads. Let's pull them out, check them out. Oh, there's three in here. I thought there was two. These I like. These I like. There are some really good white bass spots around this area that I'm in at the moment. I don't know if there's white bass back here, maybe later on in spring. But see all that, that chartreuse glitter stuff and then the feathers and the white has some uh, silvery stuff to it. These are pretty cool looking. I think it's a nickel jig hook right there. 
we we will try these for sure probably right off here is the one hard bait well i guess this uh ice fishing thing is a hard bait too but this this is pretty cool the only problem is that i have like six of these <laughs> check it out let me pull it out all right this little grasshopper crankbait can be fished like a topwater it's a decent color for here black on top chartreuse on the side and orange on the bottom that'll work pretty good they they do make these in several different colors but they got something right in this box that that color is not bad for this area in this box they give you two packs of soft plastics this is called an ultra worm by lucky john that's a decent color for here way off the mark here that's a little too hot for here but what do i know it might work we will give a at least five minutes of a try for this this is a helgi it is a, it's a good pour for here i have faith in the pour i just don't have faith in the color it's by lunker city i'm not even going to pull one of those out but that that is a decent decent uh bait for here if it was a different color the atomic chicken yeah you're i guess they give you three soft plastics but th these are on jigs so it doesn't really qualify as a pack of soft plastics to me you get there's two in here, two jig heads. I think these are 116s. They're like curly tail grubs. Well, they are curly tail grubs, but maybe not quite what you're used to fishing. Let's pull one out and check it out. Yeah, probably not quite what you're used to. Maybe somebody's used to fishing these. Look how long the tail is. This is a trout bait, I believe. What kind of, is that? Yep, straight shank hook here. Straight shank jig, no keeper. probably catch dink bass with this here maybe a crappie i'm not planning on fishing exclusively with what is in that box we are going to fish with what's in that box i brought a lot of other things that i know will work here and i even brought red wigglers almost said wed wed wigga red wiggler <laughs> first thing up is this black ripple twist we're gonna fish this on really light line this is four pound test and it's on my little dock shooter it's a Berkeley rod, really cheap cherry wood, but I like it. Gonna slingshot this out, not too far. I chose this place today because it's out of the wind and there's a lot of panfish here. Goggle eye, red ear, bluegill, crappie. Absolutely no takers, no nibblers on the leechy looking bait here. We're gonna try the Ultra Worm on a 132 ounce jig head. This one has a bait keeper on it. Let's see how much of a disaster this is going to be. I'm gonna try and run this hook through here, through the center without coming out of it. About something like this. Let's see how it goes over the keeper. This will be the moment of truth. It doesn't want to. Come on. There it goes. Ugh. I think I could have done that better. Let me work on this. There we go. For a little bit of tweaking, I got it looking fairly straight. It seems to work fine on that. A 132, like I was saying earlier, seems like an appropriate jig for this. We're going to fish this on the four pound test on the little dock shooter again. Slingshot it out there. We're gonna fish this outside of the current. This is not the deepest part of this hole back here. Deepest part is further that way, almost underneath the tree. Time to stop the box. We'll get back to the box. All right, guys, while I've been soaking this worm, I've tried just about everything in the box, if you can believe that, and nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm trying not to facepalm myself about this box. I did get another box and I'm actually really impressed with that one. Can't wait to do a video with it. So it is time to move on and try things that I know work here. Now there's any one or any many of a hundred reasons why the stuff in this box isn't working here. I don't have to go through all of them. It could be that I'm just in the wrong place. If I had ice, I would be happy with this box. I think if I was further north, I would be happy with it. Uh, 
when the white bass are running, I'm going to be happy with some of the box, the white stuff, especially those warbirds. Until then, it's Bobby Garland time. Oh. Yes. Yes. First fish. Ooh, my goodness. Down in there. Little tiny bluegill. Go on, buddy. There he goes. Yes. Yes. Finally got something on the Bobby Garland. I switched colors a few times. Oh, look at that. I got a dink. Let's get to him and I'll show you what we switched to if you can't see it already. Here's our little dink. Biggest fish of the day. Yeah, you're right. Oh, 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 oh. Something's tipping the tip. Getting a bite on the red wiggler here. See you later, little guy. I believe this is called Glomo. It's all chartreuse. It's always like this. It starts to, the fishing starts to pick up here as soon as we're getting really close to having to call it. Got a little bit of time left. Oh. Oh. Whoa, different species. Look at that. Really, really small. Really pretty. All right, see you later, little guy. All right, guys, we're gonna close out the video right here, but keep on fishing, because we have good light still, but we're losing it. This mystery box was a bit of a disappointment. The fishing was crap as well, but I mean, uh, three fish is better than one, it's better than none, let me tell you, on a winter's day like this. Now, when I opened that box, I had mixed feelings. First thing I thought when I looked at stuff was like, man, I wish I was in Wisconsin, because I think if I was up north, a lot of the stuff in the box would work today through the ice, though. Some of it will work later on and in some other places when the water temps come up, especially white bass. Some of that stuff will work for white bass. Now, we don't have trout here. I don't know why they do panfish and trout all together. I would have liked a, just a straight up panfish box. I'm curious if any of you have ever tried the MTB, uh, you know, panfish trout box. Where'd my float go? There it is, there it is. I'm curious if you ever tried it. Let us know down in the comments what you think about it. Let us know what you think about MTB altogether. Is that over? Are we not doing this? Remember, I just got this for my birthday. Something to, something different. Sometimes, you know, different things work. Other times, different things don't work. I did get another box, like I said. And that box, it's a bass box. It's a Bass Elite. That one, I'm happy with. I'm impressed by it. I like what's in there. I haven't got to fish it yet. We're gonna do that in a few days when we have some good conditions. I really wanted to get out on the kayak today, but too much wind, everything's rough. So I decided to come back here and huh, who knows, maybe maybe that rough water would have been better for maybe. Ugh, I'm glad I'm not in it though. So like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.